All right, at last week's Senior Bowl, 11 Elantro Mary area products took another step in their preparation as they get ready for the NFL draft process. One of those players, Metro players, was a hate bill charter alum and South Carolina edge rusher Kingsley Ignabari, who seems like he's on a path of destiny. What destiny, you may ask? Our Kelly Price has more on this story. This moment has been manifested more than once for Kingsley Enugbari. I can literally remember like at least five times where random strangers literally just happened on my back or something like that. It was like, yeah, I think you're going to make it to the league or something like that. Or even uh, one time I remember it was at Waffle House. One of the employees was like, feel like you're special and stuff like that. And I'm like, so I'm like, I mean, it's definitely a blessing I'm living. He was three years old one day we were walking because he would follow me everywhere. And um, this guy, he was coming outside and he got his mail and he was like, he just looked at us and he said, you're going to be a football player one day. And I remember having a conversation with JJ a while back, maybe like a year ago. And he said, you know, when that guy told me that, that stuck with me. I think ever since then he had like that thought never left his mind. And he really had a desire for football after that. And that JJ nickname also a sign of his future, a motor that started at a young age. He used to like this TV program called JJ the Jet playing <laughs> when he was little. So he remind me of the character that played JJ. He would never, he could never be still. He always had so much energy. So that's how he got the name. Every single time, I don't know if you knew this, Shalon, I never submitted the bill to you, but every time he came over, he broke something. <laughs> he, was, he, was, he was moving like RJ's bed right now is reinforced with two by fours because JJ was flipping in the air, he <laughs> caved out. It. I was always fixing furniture after JJ would leave. The adventures of JJ and Rory's son RJ continued into high school when JJ moved in with the Starkeys and transferred to Hapeville Charter from Peachtree Ridge. And he fell in, and, and uh, but he wanted it. I mean, he wanted to get better. And my thing with all of my children that I've raised, and you know, JJ, once he jumped in the fray, is hey, we're going to outwork everybody. Well, football had always been a part of his life, the grind side of football really started right here on this gritty practice field outside Hapeville Charter. It's a raggedy field, it has craters and rocks. And you have to you have to set as a football player that feel and its contours and undulations and rocks to memory so they wouldn't tear ligaments. And I remember JJ looking like, Coach, what have you got me into? You know, looking at that field. And so he had to play on a garbage field, you know, period. And I think that was that was tough, but I think if you ask him, he'll say it was worth the journey. He chose South Carolina after being recruited by Will Muschamp. In 2020, after his coach was let go, Enoch Bari felt pressure to hit the transfer portal amid COVID, but decided to stay. Did they win the SEC championship? No, but he wanted to finish what he started. I just wanted to um, come back and be a winner, go out as a winner. I feel like I pretty much did that this year. And I guess ultimately, I feel like I improved as a leader and then, um, had an extra year to grow as a man. Enoch Bari told me he was scheduled to talk with the Falcons last Thursday in Mobile, where he also had a productive week of practices and is widely considered a second round value as a hybrid edge rusher, a position Atlanta could certainly look to target with one of its three top 60 draft picks. From the Senior Bowl, Kelly Price, Fox 5 Sports.